Welcome to video 7 in this series of online support tutorial videos produced by ESCOM Expo for young scientists. Let us review some previous videos. In video 1, we helped you to identify the most appropriate category for your project. In video 2, we helped you to identify and resolve potential ethics violations. In video 3, we helped you to identify variables in scientific type projects. In video 4.1, we gave you an overview of materials and methods in research. In video 4.2, we took a closer look at materials and methods for each of the four types of projects. In video 5, we looked at how to present results. In video 6, we took a look at discussion of results. And now in this video, we are going to have a closer look at how to write your project report. In your project report, you present your findings from your experimentation and testing. The project report is the heart of your project, in which you present a summary of your project and findings. You can download a template from the Expo website, which will guide you when compiling your project report. The project report should have the main headings as on this slide. Each heading should start with a capital letter, be in bold and aligned along the left margin. The introduction presents a brief overview and motivation for doing the project. It should be between two to four pages long. The introduction comprises of different subsections, which vary depending on the type of project you're doing. These subsections are literature review, problem statement or need, aim, research question, or hypothesis. Remember, never put your findings or conclusion in the introduction. For engineering projects, these projects have engineering or design goals or even design criteria. Start the introduction with your literature review. When writing your literature review, present a broad overview of previous published research. Identify areas in which your research overlaps with that of others. Mention what is directly related to your research. Identify the important gaps in the research that you are addressing. Remember, when directly quoting a resource, make use of in-text referencing. From the gaps identified, state the problem that your research sets out to address. State your aim clearly and concisely. State the research question and hypothesis or state the engineering goal or design criteria. This section tells us what you did, why you did it, where you did it, and how you did it. As discussed in videos 4.1 and 4.2, the materials and methods section should provide a detailed step-by-step -step description of your experiments, tests, observations, or building and testing of various prototypes. It must explain how you tested your hypothesis or research question or engineering goal. For time-sensitive projects, the when is important. Indicate the time of year or time of day that your research was conducted. Enough detail must be provided to enable the replication of your research. Depending on the type of project that you are doing, there will be some differences in the materials and methods section of the project report. For scientific investigation type projects, you need to identify the variables. See video 3, list the materials and apparatus you used for your project, and in the procedure section, provide a detailed description of how the materials were used to conduct your experiments or tests. Remember, don't mention brand names. For engineering and computer science type projects, there are no variables, but the materials and procedure section must be completed. The procedure provides the steps taken in developing, creating, and testing your functional prototype, process, or solution. When developing a process or prototype, it is important to test, redesign, and retest the process or prototype. In addition, for computer science projects, the method must detail the development phase as well as the testing phase. Remember, 
If your project involves programming, the code must be in the appendix. For mathematical and theoretical project reports, the method section describes the mathematical techniques used to prove the hypothesis or answer the research question. The variables must be listed. In the procedure section, explain the mathematical process or theories followed and provide a detailed description of how this was carried out. Details of long derivations should be put in the appendix. For social science projects, provide a description of the participants, including the number of participants, their gender, age, and other relevant demographics. List all the instruments used for the study. These may include surveys, questionnaires, social experiments, or polls. Include samples of instruments in the appendix. When describing the procedure followed, list variables, if any, as well as how these were manipulated between or within participants. Describe the procedure in terms of what the participants did, rather than what you did. This section should always be written in third person and in past tense. The overall purpose of the results section is to report on the important observations and findings of only your research. Identify patterns in the data collected. Begin by presenting a basic summary of the data in order to assess whether the aim, research question, or hypothesis was achieved. The same applies to engineering and computer science type projects, if you had identified a need and stated design goals and design criteria. How you present the results must show clearly whether these aspects align or not. Use tables and figures to present results in a manner which is easy to read and understand. For further information on presenting and drawing tables and figures, refer to video 5 on our Expo tutorial video series. As explained in video 6, it is important to discuss the important results and to interpret and explain patterns found. Discuss any assumptions made. Refer to the literature and make comparisons to your findings. The discussion will link to any conclusions drawn. Here, you critically evaluate your method and results. Highlight any experimental errors or shortcomings in your methodology. Identify any limiting factors that may have influenced your overall research. Examples of these could be a lack of equipment or resources, or not being able to collect sufficient data due to time constraints. Examples could be, were your sample sizes large enough? Was your system or prototype adequately tested? Did you use the correct equations or theories? What did you think was the cause of any unexpected results? Briefly state how the project could be improved. How can the research be extended? Do your results raise new questions? What new insight do your results provide? Make suggestions as to what you or other researchers could do to further the study or improve the design. The conclusion addresses one all-important question. So what? What is the overall importance of the results? And why should anyone care? The conclusion reached is based on the results. The conclusion must be linked to the hypothesis. State whether the hypothesis is accepted or rejected, and why. Was the research question answered, or were the design goals and design criteria achieved? List the people or institutions that provided assistance and briefly mention how they assisted you. Referencing is a way to validate that you have done further reading by using relevant sources for your literature review and discussion. There are two types of referencing. Firstly, in-text referencing, found in the main body of your project report. And secondly, reference list, which is found at the end of your project report. The reference list contains the full citations of all the in-text references mentioned within your report only list references that have been cited in the report.
Reference Format The ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists uses the Harvard format for referencing. List the references in alphabetical order of first author surname. Visit the Expo website and download the referencing guide to see more examples. Tip: Use Google Scholar to find online resources. An appendix is placed at the end of the report. This is additional information that is too detailed for the body of the report. If there is more than one appendix, the series is called the appendices. Number the appendices and use this number when referring in the text. For example, Appendix 5. We hope this video has helped you to understand how to write a project report. Keep watching this space. In our next video, we will assist you with writing your abstract. Stay safe and stay positive. We hope your research journey is both fulfilling and rewarding. Good luck!